welcome back everyone. I'm Erica Pitsy for jackcotton.com and I'm here with luxury real estate expert author and agent Jack Cotton and we are on step four of a seven part series, how to break into luxury real estate. And today it's all about process. It's all about process. You've got to have processes to be successful in luxury real estate because the only way you're going to deliver consistent services, surprises and delights to your clients is have a process for everything. I mean, <clears throat> when you check into a Ritz-Carlton hotel, do you think they make it up every time you show up at the front desk <laughs> yeah. and your checkout is different than the person over there's checkout? They have a process for everything. And if you're going to be successful in luxury real estate, you have to have a process for everything too. For example, the listing process. It's all about process. Think about the definition we talked about a few weeks back about the definition of luxury. Perfection. Yeah. Seeking perfection. Mm -hmm. You cannot do that without a process. So for example, the listing process, you know, we have the initial contact from the client, we do some pre-listing research, we do a pre-listing presentation, um, appointment number one, finalize the presentation, then appointment number two, and then um, we sign the agreement, and then we start marketing the property. So that's a uh, listing process. And we monitor and communicate the results of our marketing with the seller as the uh, time in the market unfolds. Pricing process, we've developed a seven step pricing. Now, none of these are what you have to copy exactly. You may want a five step process, you may want a 10 step process, just have one. Mm -hmm. Our seven step process is to gather sales data, to adjust the sales. In luxury real estate, whenever you bring comparable sales into a seller, they always say, that comp isn't like mine. I have more privacy, I have a deeper water, I have a better view, I have more square footage, I have higher quality. So when we adjust the sales, we overcome that objection in advance compared to a benchmark. Remember we talked about the first segment was mapping the market and coming up with the benchmarks. Mm -hmm. So now we want to compare it to the benchmark. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, the price you want for your property is twice the benchmark we calculated for the market. What are we going to tell buyers about that? How are we going to justify that? They're not stupid. Um, present it in secret. We always tell sellers the price of their home in secret. Just the two of us. No one else is going to know. Secrets. Secrets. And then the pricing committee comes by. The pricing committee comes by, they have no knowledge of our discussion whatsoever. They come into the house, they look around, just like a million dollar listing. They didn't take any notes, but they just look around, they have a gut feeling what the price should be, and we report that to the seller. Then you take my CMA, you take the pricing committee advice, and then you, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, select the price to go to market. Simple as that. And then step seven is that we test the market acceptance of the price. Now, I could do hours on this. All I'm trying to illustrate is have a process for everything. That's how you deliver consistent service that exceeds the expectations of your luxury clients. Um, <clears throat> my process for a listing presentation. You know, I talk about what everybody in the market does, I talk about what my company does, and I talk about what I do. And I noticed here you've got USTs, but we were, ta we were talking about USPs before, so what's this UST? Well, your UST is on the way to a USP. Remember we talked about sweating our competition, our luxury competition, the T stands for turn it around? So your UST is unique selling turnaround. Uh -huh. And once you get good at it, it graduates from a T to a P, uh -huh. even though it's earlier in the alphabet. But anyway, <laughs> oh, it, it works. So that's your unique selling turnaround. Got it. So um, next time we're going to talk about the big O. Yeah, and it sounds pretty salacious. That'll be step five. You'll explain that, though. Yep. <laughs> and for more advice from our luxury real estate expert, Jack Cotton, you can go to luxuryrealestateunplugged.com.